Okay, hello good people. We're going to set up a um, uh, an interior uh, with Arnold uh, GPU and the OptiX for uh, rapid pr prototyping and you can actually also use it for, uh, for finals. So, um, what do we have here? We have uh, like a basic room, got a, co got a couple of uh, arbitrary uh, holes for windows and some, some assets. I set up a camera uh, and populated the uh, props. <coughs> so, um, so let's just uh, try and expect the render panel. Active shade, Arnold. Default, default. Go to the um, system tab and you can pick between CPU and GPU. GPU. I'm using a, a GeForce uh, 1080 Ti. And that's just... Uh, try and knock out a um, uh, an initial test here see if we can get it working so it's working um, there are no lights uh, so uh, we should introduce some kind of light I would suggest we use uh, the most simple route which is the which um <coughs> is which is the uh, skylight um, it's set to sky Sky Dome here and uh, reset exposure to zero. That's just how I work. One in intensity and exposure zero. All right. So, um, <coughs> so let's see see what happens. Okay, <coughs> we start to get some. Um, some 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 uh, some skylight going in the scene. It stopped because we only have three uh, AA here. Um, <coughs> so um, and we also want to lift the light and remove all the noise, so we can uh, navigate the scene while it's rendering. So let's take one thing at a time. Um, let's uh, enable the adaptive sampler crank up this number that means for how long will it go uh, and I'm going to reset this one uh, to zero zero keep the initial AA at three four to to give the image something to work with and move towards this number doesn't need to be anything this is just a cap <coughs> what's going to stop so fault intents and purposes uh, we got just going high here for this test let me uh, move uh, this uh, skylight out here um, and uh, let's try and uh, get a render going. Okay, and as you can see it starts to, to to keep refining you can see all the small dots down here in the shadows they keep going and they will keep going until they hit uh, this uh, cap here with uh, this tolerance <coughs> threshold so that's nice uh, but uh, we can actually improve the speed uh, quite significantly um, we should also introduce some kind of um, uh, left here uh, I would go like this and then decrease the the highlights it could be something like this give it a bit more contrast uh, lower this one a bit go like this okay so so let's say this this is uh, our final uh, exposure settings ah, maybe like this okay so now we want to introduce uh, a couple of aspects. We want to uh, port this, so we are going to render in the viewport directly, and we're going to enable the denoiser. Okay. <coughs> Let's see here. Um, for denoiser, enable uh, the um, denoiser AOV RGBA denoise. Remember to check that it's set to RGBA. Sometimes it goes comes in with a vector. Uh, I don't know why, but set it to uh, to RGBA, and that's uh, that's basically it. Um, let's try and re-render again. 
right now we are probing the RGBA. Uh, so that's the brute force uh, GPU. Um, and um, but we can swap to this one, RGB 18 noise. As you can see, the image uh, has no noise, but uh, something else is happening. It's a little bit blurry and everything, but that's uh, because um, the uh, render is gradually finding all the edges and sharpening everything up. All the small details are coming in. But uh, first and foremost, it starts to, to remove all the noise and then finds all the edges. So um, so that's it. Um, if we want to port the denoiser uh, to, uh, to the viewport, uh, we actually need to start a small render session first. Um, because if we, if we go here, Active Shade Arnold, um, it will actually use this RGBA, so we're going to swap to this one first and then close it down um, I'm going to set this one to shade it because with the clay uh, the clay is overlaid we don't want that and we are going to hit this button so now hopefully we should get uh, if you check this out it's uh, the strings on the um, the guitar that it's it's not a render error I just didn't shade them correctly Okay, so as you can see, it's very blurry, and you can sit and say, "Ah, but this is looks, uh, this looks wrong. It's 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 uh, it's not what I want." No, but it's just been rendering a couple of seconds, and uh, you look here, it's very blurry. But as you see, uh, all the small details, all these hinges starts to come out, all the edges up here, um, everything's and the tree here uh, specifically. There's a lot of details in that. It starts to, 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 to pump out all the small details. Um, and if you let it render for a couple of minutes, five, ten minutes, you get uh, an image that is ready to, to, to go go out basically to a client. Um, you can also use it for previous um, if you want. Um, but it's really uh, it's really fast to work with. You can see now everything starts to sharpen up. Uh, it's very clear that it keeps keep pushing, and all the shadows here are noise free. There's a lack of definition in the corner here, um, but uh, that's the things that the uh, denoiser will will um, will take care of. So and uh, we can try and. Try and move in closer here. Let's try and move in here. Uh, let's see here. Something like this. Everything looks like it's blurry or undefined. Uh, but uh, just let's wait a couple of seconds and see that it's actually uh, starting to refine everything. And uh, remember, this is just one simple skylight from the exterior. Uh, so it's very simple to set up and get going. Um, we could, uh, while it's rendering, we could, uh, we could play a little bit with, uh, with the grading. Uh, we can introduce some more blacks here. We could, could, could lower it. Um, so, so something like this, for example, could be could be useful. Um, and we could actually also try and do a, uh, a duff one. In the end, um, let's see here, like this. Let's pick the camera. Let's go down here. Something like this. Okay. Let me move this out of space. Whoop. And we're going to focus in on this this headset here. The edge of the headset. Like this. Let's check the viewport refinement. Oh, I need to enable the depth of field. 
this. Okay, we now have the headphones in in um, in focus here. We could actually make a deeper depth of field. <coughs> we could go like this. Let's refine the composition a bit. Like this. There's nothing up here. Who cares? Um, let me um, let me release this one. And let's uh, let's try and start render this. And as you can see, as before, it starts out kind of like with a lot of artifacts, a lot of. Uh, lot of miscoloring in the in the global illumination but everything is tightening up uh, quite fast uh, one thing to note is that I'm operating with a ray depth and uh, diffuse ray depth of uh, one uh, ideally for interiors we want to use three <coughs> so um, so let's just disable this one crank this to three this means more global illumination uh, in the uh, in the render, which also means that the uh, render with will be uh, brighter, so we need to compensate that. Uh, so let's try and start it out. Check this is actually uh, the last image, and um, check the new one. It's coming now. There. Uh, so. With that in mind, we can lower the uh, exposure a bit, something like this. We can go like here. This is the highlight burns. We can actually increase, increase this one again. So and, um, and that's it. That's how it goes. That's how easy it is to to work with. Um, and let's just let this one render a little bit. So as you can see, there's some splotches going on here. But as I move the mouse, these uh, small splotches are are, rem are gradually removed uh, as the uh, render refines and uh, finds more and more um, uh, surfaces to hit. So. Um, we can just let this one render a little bit. And again, if we measure again, just brute force GI on the CPU, this is uh, far faster. Um, it can't really uh, compare these two things. It's two different paradigms in terms of speed. Um, so, yeah, we've been rendering for what, 30, 30 seconds, 40 seconds or something. And it's starting to to look somewhat decent. Edges are starting to sharpen up. All the small details come through gradually. Um, and of course, there's uh, there's no noise. So uh, so that was a quick introduction to uh, the Arnold uh, GPU render with OptiX. Uh, in interiors using just one single uh, skylight uh, to illuminate the room. Of course you can use textures. This works very well with uh, fine textures as well. Um, so um, so yeah, just give it a go. Of course you need the uh, NVIDIA GPU uh, to do this. Um, and um, that's it. After this video is done, I'm going to Disable the uh, the um, incremental save, the uh, auto save. It's pretty annoying, but that's a different subject. <laughs> okay, so uh, so that's it. Um, I hope uh, you learned something from this video. Have a nice one.